Hey guys, it is Sunday, May 25th, and that means we can review. Um, I got semi-good responses last time, decent amount of views, not so many comments, so I'd love to know what you guys think of various stories. If you have any additional information, that would be great. Um, but let's get started. First up, we have an Illinois police guarding the entrance to McDonald's corporate headquarters in Oak Brook as thousands of fast food workers and activists demonstrate for higher wages. Next, we have a 10-month-old orphaned orangutan in Indonesia called Rizki learning to bite at the Surabaya Zoo. He and his brother Demai are being hounded by zookeepers after being abandoned by their mother. Uh, in Beijing, Tiffany Townsend of the U.S. falls down during the women's 200-meter race at this year's IAAF World Challenge. Uh, in London, UKIP leader Nigel Farage poses outside a polling station in Biggin Hill, southeast London. His party made major gains in local council elections, particularly in Essex and, Essex and South Yorkshire. In Tel Aviv, Maccabi Tel Aviv supporters gather in Robin Square to celebrate their team's 98-86 win against Real Madrid in the finals of the EuroLeague 2014 Final Four basketball match. Istanbul, a poor protester runs away as Turkish riot police are using water cannons to disperse people demonstrating against the country's recent mine disaster. In London, here Queen Elizabeth is seen, is seen examining a display during a visit to the Chelsea Flower Show. And in the Cannes Film Festival, a French-Argentinian actress, Berenice Bejo, attends a screening of her latest film, The Search. In Odessa, Ukrainian police take part in a public order exercise ahead of the country's presidential elections. Elections Commission officials have been warned that it could be difficult, if not impossible, to stage Sunday's poll. Uh, and in Woolwich, Rebecca Rigby, the widow of Fusilier Lee Rigby, lays a wreath outside the Royal Artillery Barracks on the first anniversary of his death. And the charity for the week is Bees for Development. It assists beekeepers in living in poor and remote areas of the world, lifting them out of poverty through beekeeping. And that is it this week, guys. Um, for those of you who know that I'm a crunchy granola hipster vegan person, um, I try not to kind of put my own individual spin on most of the stuff. I try to just present it as neutrally as possible, which is why I included the beekeeping story. Um, honey and beeswax are one of, uh, one of those things that is a definite no for some vegans and a definite yes for others. I don't consume or and I try not to use either of them, but I can understand why some people do. Not my place to judge. My way of living is not for everyone and I fully recognize that. Um, that being said, I think it's a great idea to promote sustainability for farmers of any kind, really, um, factory farming excluded, but any type of farmers that will help bees right now because our world is in a dire recession of bees at the moment um but yeah that's it for this week or last week that's it for today and uh tomorrow we will continue the arena run on hearthstone and uh hopefully tuesday or later i will have a somewhat plateau video up for you if my husband and i can tune that out today we shall see anywho thank you for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day